Hey everybody, this is Hobbs and welcome back to season two of This Not That. This Not That is a blog that we do focusing on data best practices across the entire life cycle of data in the business. For season two, we're gonna do some things differently. First off, we got some feedback from our users and I'm excited to do videos where I can answer the questions that you guys had and address some things that you thought had some good ideas around. Second off, I'm gonna bring some people in from my network and from the company here to talk with me and we'll do a back and forth about a given topic in data science or data pipeline, something that they're an expert in. I'm excited to get another season started. Welcome back everybody. In this episode of TNT, we're gonna talk about a best practice that spans the whole data life cycle all through your business. And it has to do with team composition. So I was reading an article recently in the Harvard Business Review where they're talking about these people they call unicorns. Unicorns are technical individuals, often data scientists, with really unique, highly valuable skill sets and they're incredibly difficult to find because once you hire one, you want them to do everything. You want them to handle all of the things related to, in that case, data science. Now this can be really tricky. The article talks about it from a communication perspective, uh, but it expands outward beyond that. And I have what I'm gonna propose as a better system. Instead of trying to find a unicorn, the perfect individual who will do absolutely everything that you need them to do, instead, try and hire a team of people and then split up those individual skill sets with backup and repetition between individuals. I'm gonna call this the chimera. Uh, for those of you who are not Greek mythology nerds, the chimera was a creature in Greek mythology, a monster that was sort of a hybrid of three different animals. The lion, the goat, and the snake. You don't have to remember that, there won't be any test. But for our purposes, when we're talking about building out teams, what you wanna do is make a list of the functional skills that you want to fill. And instead of trying to find a single individual who can fill all of them, break that out into individual job titles and make sure that two or three people share the same skill set. So if you're gonna have a backend developer doing a lot of data science, don't necessarily expect that same person to do the data visualization or the presentation to the executive team, right? Find those skills elsewhere and hire a team of people who can all come in. Now the tricky part there is making sure, as I said, that you've got repetition and backups. Let's say that the person who does the usual communicating with the executive team is out of office for some reason. You need to be able to say you have then another person who can fill that exact same role and has that same skill set. Then when you're looking at projects, you can go through and figure out which individuals you need on the project based off of the key skills that they provide. To recap that idea, you shouldn't be focused on finding a single person who can fill all of your needs. That's really difficult to find and everybody's after those people. Instead, build out a well-balanced team where everyone involved can provide something that you need in your business. Thanks for watching everyone. If you enjoyed today's episode, follow us on social media, head to the blog, head to the website, find us on YouTube. Additionally, if you have an idea, if you've got a best practice you think we should talk about, I would love to hear that from you. Leave a comment on this video and I'll see if I can't squeeze that into this season or the next one. Additionally, if you're at your company and you're listening to these talks and you're finding that you've got some gaps in the skills that you've got internally, we would love to come alongside you and help you out as best we can. Whether that's through executive round tables or two or three day focused workshops on data visualization, data pipelines. If you need some technical help for a time or for a long period, we would love to help you solve those problems at your business. Thanks again for coming everyone and I will see you next time.